Hi dear friends, Anand here. Today we are going to take up a very important topic, a very simple topic. All of you were aware of at least part of it, I suppose. Uh, we are going to take up this topic on sets, functions and relationships. Now set, we are going to take up starting with sets, then we are going to take up functions, relationships and we are going to take up various aspects of this. Trust me, it's a very interesting concept, very interesting topic involving a lot of calculations, but simple ones. And also a very uh, lot of logic that is involved in this. Now, when we talk about a set, we talk about a set, we say we talk about furniture set, you talk about jewelry set, we talk about, um, say, geometry kit, you say, or a makeup kit set. When you talk about set means, it's quite clear, it's a collection of things. But these are all collection, this is a collection of things which are tangible and well defined. Well defined means this is based on facts and not opinions. For example, you say, uh, come on pick up and make a set of the 10 most intelligent boys in the class. Now when you say 10 most intelligent boys, it becomes a little sticky to understand what is intelligent because if you take teacher A, she may consider as per the requirement of her subject, she may consider uh, candidate number one intelligent and the other person will say no, candidate one is not intelligent, somebody else is intelligent. So each person will possibly list a different set of candidates. So you can't call this as a set. It's a misnomer. It's a wrong name given to such a thing. But yes. If you say make the list of students who have scored above 86, now that is something which is very, very definite. What is 86% for one person, for the other person also, he, for him also it is going to be 86%. If teacher A feels that has awarded 86% to somebody in say account, then teacher B, B also knows that he has been awarded 86%. So hence it is a well-defined collection. So we will be taking up both sets. We will also talk about functions which are concerned with various relationships between two sets of variables and also relationships which are also type of functions but they cover a wider range of uh, situations as compared to functions. So let's move to exactly find out what we cover in these three topics today, what we have in this PC. So we are going to take up sets of course which I told you is a collection of well-defined objects. It's a collection of well-defined objects and we're going to take up functions and relations <coughs> which is going to be relationship between two sets of variables. We'll go into the nitty-gritties later on when we go into this particular topic. Then we will also use a concept of Venn diagrams wherein we are going to solve how in daily life how to find out certain number of say uh, items which belong to a particular category given details about the other types of items. So these are the three topics that we are going to take up. Of course Venn diagrams is quite closely related to sets. So this is what we shall be covering. 